What's a common thing people do that you have never understood? Cheat on their dedicated romantic partners. Be they married or not. I have noticed it always turns out they were the same in every previous relationship. It just seems they came out that way. What I don't get is why they just don't state what they want when it's early on. Plenty of people are accepting of non-traditional relationships. Why do they always go knowing they are lying? And the truth always comes out. Is the cheating, sneaking, betraying and lying more stimulating to them than any other part of the relationship and also children? I think it is. Cheating I don't understand that. I have bipolar disorder and I was sometimes total fucking idiot. And I'm also someone who owns very good sex drive. But I have never cheated anyone I don't understand cheating. Why? Why? Why you make people you love feel bad intentionally? I was single for a long time because I was afraid that I would hurt my partner in mania. But it's not in my nature to be dishonest or to cheat. Cheating is chosy even for me with limited self-control. And cheating is something I can control. Dating. That being romantically interested in someone doesn't always have to be painful. That if you approach a person with the intent of dating, there are other outcomes possible than them rejecting you. That it actually happens that your romantic interest doesn't pick someone else over you. They can pick you over others. That love can be mutual and bring you happiness. Rationally. I know all of this is true. But it just seems mind-boggling to me. Nothing I ever experienced was like that. Blaming or getting angry at the person that your partner cheated on you with. Your partner is the problem. The liar. The one who cheated. The one in the committed relationship. That other person could be single. Not know your partner was committed. And maybe is just a garbage person who likes the chase of getting someone to cheat on their significant other. Regardless of any of the other person's motivations or circumstances. How are they more at fault than your partner? Celebrities. This goes for sports, singers, actors, etc. Beyond thinking certain ones are good at what they do. I could not give a hoot. I don't care about their marriages, kids, or basically their life at all. When they die, it's a shame for their friends and family. But I don't know them. And it's no different than a random other person I don't know passing. If they are a good actor, for example, then maybe I'll be a bit more interested in seeing their next project. Try and lie to make themselves look like someone they are not. Why would you just basically set yourself up to disappoint someone by acting different then? You are. There's no way it won't come back. It's so weird to me, but also sad. Legit, there's someone who thinks the real you is awesome. Trying to keep up appearances is like just setting yourself up for rejection. Always from yourself, and usually always from those you are getting to know you. Falsely claiming to be Cherokee Indian. It's always a generic shit story someone tells. My kid tans well cause I had Cherokee in me. And look how dark his hair is. Cause some BS story of a rescued Cherokee princess. I'm biracial. 50-50 my kids came out white. They can't claim anything other than Anglo-Saxon Anglo-Celtic really. They're as white and featured like the Tudor dynasty white. One looks creepily like Saus Ronan. Bend over backwards to please others at the sacrifice of their own happiness. Or hate on people who spend their money on X thing. It's their money and life why does it matter? For example, I've seen people roast a girl for buying a luxury bag that is $3,000. Or said roaster spends $5,000 for like rooms peer exhaust on their car or for $1,000 for a gaming computer. Like what's the point? People have different tastes why look down on them for it. This is for all the grocery store workers. Time they will grab all of the bags out of the bag holding them and stuff as much as they can into. That bag the smallest out of the bunch. And then when they are done just hand me the leftover bags. I will never understand why they just don't grab a bag out as needed. Also I've had them put cans on top of produce. Drives me absolutely insane. Not being ready at the register when checking out. Like semen. Order of operations. Give them your item. Pay them money. Take your change, leave. Road. Then give exact change. Then dispute the change. Then put it all away while the person behind them is twiddling their fucking thumbs waiting to not. Be an unprepared dick. It's all very infuriating. Wipe standing up. 
care about what way the toilet paper is on the holder. Wash their dishes before putting them in the dishwasher. Drive in the fast lane and should be in the other lane. Eat during meetings. Listen to music on their phone speaker in public or talk on the phone with the speaker on in public. Own an Apple Watch or smartwatch. Save their texts from the beginning of time or call or dogmatizing behind social or political positions so much that you sacrifice your integrity. And almost fanatical, you can present them with facts and evidence that what they believe is blatantly false and they'll just deny it, curse you, or run away. But will continue to spout the same lies. I just don't get it. I've known to many women that either try to wholly stifle their sneezes, or to make them cute. Ging her nose in an effort to make the sneeze 100 silent and simultaneously almost blowing out her. Oh nigh balls the she's trying to make this cod awful Disney princess barely audible. Chew sound. I can't figure out what the fuck the motivation is behind that. Placing memorials at crash sites. I find it bizarre that people want to memorialize the spot and moment that someone tragically lost their lives. If I had a loved one die next to the highway, the last thing I would want is a cross to remind me. Every time I drove by that this is where they died, I would much rather think of them in a much happier sense. Hate on people for their current status. Why hearing who and what people eat for lunch and it's always a judgmental thing. Dude if I can only afford a discount fish sandwich with my app from a fast food place, it's not me trying to be healthy. Don't compare me to your quinoa and Brussels sprout protein hummus salad and diet nitro infused tea. Lying for the heck of it. Even as a prank or as a kind of one-sided make-belief. It just leaves a sour taste in my mouth. I helped doing an oral exam for German at a Dutch school and the organizer had told his students that me and my classmates didn't speak Dutch. Like, why would you say that when it's not true? Why lie about me without consent? Spend obscene amounts of money on their cars and I mean accessories. As in that ridiculously loud muffler, ambient lighting the totally unnecessary stuff, the special air intake that might add an extra 10 horsepower, racing tires, pocket seats, suspender style list goes on, who TFU racing, Vin Diesel and FF20, believing things there's not a shred of proof for, while discounting as false or hoaxes things that are actually true, Con and them COVID both come to mind immediately, but there are so many, or, to put it another way, I have no idea why so many people think their opinions and beliefs are equivalent or even superior to experts and evidence. Criticize, judge whatever others choose to do within the privacy of their own home and or room space, especially if it's incredibly harmless to anyone other than themselves, that one lone individual. If you're uninvited to that person's private party, you should keep it that way and simply keep your nose out of their business. People who feel like they don't have to follow directions. If the sign says 10 items or less, why would you get in line with 25 items? If the parking spot is for disabled parking only, and you're not disabled, why would you park there? If the sign says 1, 99 limit 2, why would you take six to the register? I just don't get it. Long fake nails that look like talons. They look so awkward and difficult to function with. To be fair, since childhood, I've done things like play the violin and play the piano. And I've had typing-based hobbies and a career. You can't do those things with talons. To each his own, I guess. But I find it unattractive. To think of politicians as celebrities worthy of our time. They're our employees. They should be held accountable for their work performance, even more so than anyone else. If they underperform, that's it, you're out, and no. You shouldn't receive money from the people you have to overview, you corrupt imbeciles. On Reddit, people complain about influencers online. But here's the thing. You literally have to be doing that yourself or something. Just don't watch them. I literally don't see influencer content because, well... I don't search for it. I've never even seen a Mr. Beast video on my YouTube feed ever. Why well what it means or holding celebrities accountable for shit they did as an edgy teenager after. They apologized more than once for their actions and actually did the work to rectify their actions. Wallet in the back pocket. S this. Doesn't it make sitting a lot weirder?
with one cheek pushing against leather, the other against a couch, plus, it's a lot easier to pickpocket someone if they keep shit in their back pocket, plus, you gonna fart on all your money, absolute madness, today during the week, what the fuck are you going to accomplish, now a couple hundred people, sure, make some noise or whatever, but your little tiny crew with the picket signs ain't dawn shit law, go with a group of friends to the bathroom dot dot, if I need to use the washroom, I want to be alone thanks, I don't want anyone hanging out near the sinks waiting for me, or even worse talking to me while I go, if I don't need to use the washroom, I'll wait outside of it for a friend to be done, continue to trust the mainstream news as a reliable source of information when they're owned by the same parent companies and are demonstrably pushing divisive agendas and false narratives, it's a large part of why we all hate each other, and why everything sucks now. It kind of baffles me why so many people have an insatiable urge to immediately stand up on the plane. The very moment the seating lights go off during landing, they get up. Only to go absolutely nowhere for another 5-10 minutes, while the stairs dock and the doors open. Stand in choke points of busy areas, locking aisles standing next to the only other object there ensuring everyone has to stare at you, until you notice you're in the only place you can't stand, or standing in doorways. Walk to more inches. A step over then stand there. Sex. Why do people care so much? It feels fine, but you know what is also fine? Watching a movie. Making dinner. Having a nice bath, like it is just a tiring activity that is okay, not the end of the world if you don't have it or not a thing you can't live without.